Jay Skis, all right? Uh, <clears throat> ground level, ground level. This is what his third album. Is this is his third album with uh drum work <laughs> or? Okay. Um, I don't know how many he got, but we've had three. What in the last year and a half from him? Yeah, yeah, and um, yeah, man, drum work, drum work artist. Uh, I feel like he's the the next guy up. Really, I, I think Jay Skies is the next guy up to me. What y'all thoughts on this album? Uh, I did not really like good. this album. I did not like it. Mmm, <laughs> mmm, wow. Okay, and you and your take was uh, you don't like the singing the singing hooks. Yeah, and that's. Well, this album got some of those, <laughs> especially a Lloyd hook. Oh man, golly! Um, yeah, man, I was not a big fan of this album. He got some good songs on here, but overall, I was not rocking with this album like that. All right, so let's go. Let's go through the tracks because I, 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 I disagree. Yeah, I, I disagree with. I, I think the Lloyd song is the like the weakest song. I agree with that part. I, I do. That is not my favorite song on the album. You talking but, about Sarah Lee? Yeah, yeah. That's okay, uh, yeah, yeah. I didn't, I didn't love that yeah. that hook either. But that's okay. But when we start off, it starts brick after brick. A great song. I thought it started mm-hmm. off high. Mm-hmm. I love Peter Park. Mm-hmm. I thought that was great. Situated is a, a amazing song. Great single. Situated is one of my favorite songs this year. Situated yeah, is fantastic. Really good. I played that song a really times good. this week. I love and Sauce Walk on that. I love Big Crit on that. I like the beat mm-hmm. on that. I like that song a ton. Yeah. Right. Definitely. The video is good too. A lot of twerking. Yeah, the uh, video is funny because you obviously we can tell that the three people are filmed it in three different locations. They're not together at all in the video, right? Mm-hmm. So they just in three different locations. And they all do their verse separately in in a room with a different chick next to them, you know. And so it's it's funny video to me, but uh, it's a great song, great song. I'm a big crit. Everybody know if you don't know already. I'm a huge crit fan. I love uh, his verse on here. I'm a Sauce Walker has definitely won me over. I'm I'm a fan of his as well, um, and I, I can't wait for the next Crit album. I mean, yeah. So, but um, I do think this album slumps a little in the middle. I thought the that little Lost, I like puppets, Lost puppets. I like Lost I puppets. puppets. I ain't like Sarah Lee at all. Yeah. And I look. I, and I don't know if we talked about him on this podcast at all, but I'm a Davies hater. I think he consistently sucks. <laughs> um. <laughs> You know, I'd be like, who put Dave, who made Dave East have a career? Like, you know, he's not good. He's not good at rapping. I think Nas did Nas go sign him. Mars is not there. Yeah. People yeah. have gassed him, and I don't really understand why. To me, he's I like don't... a male rhapsody. The flows and bars, and, and y'all be gassing yeah. it. Y'all I think gassing. rhapsody is better, number one. I think that's an insult to rhapsody, right? Okay, First off, I'm not saying much. Being better than Second, Davies ain't saying much. <laughs> Secondly, I think I don't I don't think that he's a bad rapper. I think he's he's just you know just cool. And then I don't I think I didn't think he was terrible on the song. I thought he was cool on the song. Uh, I thought his verse was cool. He just doesn't make good music to me. Interesting music to me. I don't think he's a bad rapper. I just don't think to he me, makes Dave best music. Is not it. Not it. Um, mm-hmm. I like Ekin Fo. I thought this Ohana Means Family was a good emotional song. Fuck, I thought it was cool. Nah, y'all didn't like that. I thought it slumped around. They didn't even talk about Ohana and Moana, nigga. I didn't like that. (laughs) I thought this is where it slumped (laughs) around. Lilo doesn't like the the lack of continuity. He talked about Lilo and Stitch and Moana. Yeah. They was all go together. He just assumed <laughs> Moana was uh, Hawaiian or what? Come on, man. I don't like that, dog. Uh, yeah, like Moana that. is supposed to be Hawaiian. Yes. Yeah. I thought they nah, talked about man. that in Moana, too. They ain't never said no Ohana, nigga. I ain't never <laughs> do that. Nah, man. 
Yeah, like as many times as I've seen uh, Moana, now that you say that, now I'm thinking about it, it's like, oh, you know what? I'm going to dock a whole point off the skis album now because of that. Yeah. <laughs> How you messed that up, man? <laughs> That's crazy. All right. I, like I, that, know. Man. I thought Glory was cool. Yeah, but to me, yes, yeah, it's, it's that middle part that was good. I like Glory. Um, I like Glory. You, you, you said you, uh, Wick Coupon was cool to me. You know, I, I didn't think it was the best. Uh, and then... And then after that, I like the last three songs. And Fruits of the Labor is one of my favorite songs. Fruits of the Labor is a, a hit to me. Um, I love that song. I love that beat. That Project Pat? Oh, yeah. He floats off. That's always going to work on me. Mm-hmm. Project Pat? No, it don't work always on me. work. Never. Nah. Nowadays, it does for me. Yeah, right. Uh, no, no, dude. Wait, no, who did it? That was the third. That was the third. Was third. Was oh, perfect. Come on, man. Man. Show, man. We gotta give it. We gotta give it. Uh, hold on, we gotta give it a rating. A rating. Rating for skis. All right, rating for skis. I thought the skis is like a seven or eight. So it's like it's below the. It's not as good as the spech, but it's good. Mm-hmm. I thought it was really good. If he cut a couple songs off here, this is as good as the spech. Um, to me, well, the highs on here are very high. I'm gonna play this over and over. Situated. Not coming out of my rotation for six months, okay? Uh, uh, Fruits of the Labor, not coming out of my rotation for a solid three to four to six months. Like, these songs getting getting burned, man. I think he's rapping great on here. I like the production on here. I was impressed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was like, oh, you did a great job picking beats. This didn't get sleepy. This stayed fun the whole way. Mm-hmm. Agreed. I agree with everything you just said. I, I think the highs are higher. Than the, than the 38 special album. But I do think, like I said, it, to me, it's something in the middle. And this is what I, I think Skis has all the talent needed to be one of the top rappers uh, in the game. I think he can write hooks. I think, uh, you know, he's he got good beat selection on, on a lot of these songs. And he can rap. He, he He's a great rapper. Uh, or he has a lot of talent to rap. And he has multiple flows. You're not using the same flow in every song. So right, uh, so and like I said, got, this one go. did a better job, I think, than uh, what you call them that we liked with the production. To me, abolish um, uncer- uh, uncertainties. Yes, yes, that was mm-hmm. very good. Mm-hmm. This one to me had better production. Like, um, you know, this this staying on. Um, I was kind of bummed we didn't have a song with him and Conway, but mm-hmm. besides that, I was like, oh, this album is really good, man. And and this is where. You know, when we were talking before about, like, you know, how do you, who makes it or whatever, so like that. To me, he's got all the talent. Um, I wish, I don't know how, you know, he breaks it. Because to me, like, Fruits of the Labor, you know, situated, like, these songs could be singles that, that like, I mean, should be, could be hits to me. They sound, like, they sound great, like, great songs. So, yeah, but- I wish... If he... Good. And I also think he benefit. I know he's with Conway, so he got to follow Conway's you know, that's his mentor. So he's probably going to follow Conway's, you know, style of, you know, push out music, and it probably works financially. But I think if he took the best songs from this album and Unbolished Uncertainties and cut the worst songs, you know, you have one great album as opposed to two very good ones. You know what I mean? I mean, that's, that's a year apart, man. Like, yeah, a, year a lot of people are, are going to, you know, have uh, one every one every year means you're gonna have some some songs that's not per- that's not like too fast to be you know keeping. Uh, he also drop dropped the album with Superior. Hold on, he dropped the album with Superior yeah, earlier this year as well. And so, he, had the, he had the one with uh, Conway too. So in that time frame, there's been a lot of raps. Right. But I don't right. think that's bad though. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying that between those, if we took those four albums, right? I'm saying that he's dropped a, a bunch of great songs, and I don't think, but I don't think he's put together the entire project that is like that people can herald like this is your, you know, masterpiece or something like that. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. I don't know if that. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if that matters so much anymore. Um, I mean, I care about albums, but I, I mean, I think the individually, I think these songs will 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 stream with the right type of push. I mean, mm-hmm. situated says that it's got uh, 140,000 views. So that's not a lot of views on YouTube. 185,000 mm-hmm. views um, on YouTube for a video. 
I don't know how much money they make though. I really don't know nothing about how the how the business model works when you keep all the money. Because I'm assuming when he goes to a show, they keep all the bread. I don't know how much he get, but I know I saw him on tour with Conway. Um, you know, I I, I don't know. I think this independent stuff worked great. I saw Sauce Walker talking about it on um, who is it? Bootleg Kev. Mm. He did a whole breakdown like he made this much money, and then he was just making so much off residuals because he'd been around for a long time, but really only making money in Texas, like only having a big fan base in in, in certain Texas. areas, yeah, and in Texas. And he was talking about how much money he's making and how much money he's generating. Um, yeah. And I was impressed. So if I was like, hey, if you're making that type of money, you know, you might be better at business than some other people, but that means that smaller artists could be making a nice, a nice freaking bag right now. Um, so the JCs mm-hmm. could be making a lot of money. At least in the future. You know, maybe he could he could progress to that that point. 